When you're ready to have some fun with the Burnett Funlock B42 chain stitch or cover stitch with some decorative threads, remember anything that's thicker will fit perfectly through that cover stitch looper down below. So all these threads here, they're not going to go through the needle, but they're going to go downstairs. So just keep in mind that anytime that you're stitching decoratively, you're always going to need to be thinking upside down. So if you're stitching here, this is the wrong side of your fabric because it's when you flip it over is when you're going to see that fun decorative stitch. So with the wider ones, it'll go back and forth. With the chain stitch, it will look like a chain stitch. It'll be really, really pretty. And of course, because you can work your fabric through the inside of the machine, you are able to embellish inside your fabric. So we're not just sticking right on the edge. So today I've got a couple different ones that I might recommend, things that I have close to my fingertips for other things, but always when I pull out sergers or cover stitch machines like this. So something is fun, woolly nylon is great. It does come uh, as a stretchier thread, comes back up and kind of fluffs up and fills in. That will come in a variety of different colors. You could even do variegated. One of my favorites and the one I'm gonna to use today is actually Razzle Dazzle from Ricky Tim's. So it has a, I love this for bobbin work. So we do a lot with our Stitching Cosmos online course where we do, where we're sewing decorative stitches upside down and we'll use this. We also love it for couching, but it is wonderful for sergers because it fits through those loopers. And this is almost more like a rope finish. This is a pearl crown rayon. You can see it has a very uh, bold look Look. And so anytime that you have and will be working with your decorative threads, you're probably going to need to adjust the stitch length. So you'll see me lengthening that stitch length so those stitches become a little bit more longer and defined. Also, we're going to be adjusting the tension. So where normal is four, if you're putting a little kind of chunkier thread in here, all you need to do is let the machine think that you are uh, giving it a little bit more breathing room. So think of a smaller number. Those tensions are gonna open up a little bit. So don't be afraid to be setting this anywhere from one to three, depending on your thread choice. And then the needle we're using for chain stitch is the center needle. So I do have thread in my green one. So if I do need to do any adjustments, I might be bumping this up to a slightly higher number just to help pull that decorative stitch a little tighter against the fabric. But for right now, uh, we're just going to leave that at normal. I'll probably bump this down down to two just to kind of get myself in a range. Next, the you can go ahead and feed this through. It's not too hard. Of course, your looper eye is really big, but you can also tie your decorative thread onto a current thread that's in the machine. So I'm gonna just start by switching out my cone thread. And then I have one of these on now, so just uh, remove it. And we're just gonna tie that simple overhand knot. So I'm putting both the threads together. I might even kind of flip this over the top so I'm not working on the back side, but the front side. And then just tie yourself like a, a balloon knot. And then give it a nice tight uh, kind of pull. Make that knot as small as possible. You can even trim off a little bit of the tail if you'd like. Uh, lift up the presser foot, that's gonna make the tensions kind of release a little bit. And then you could just pull the thread right on through. If it kind of gets a little tight, just kind of help it along. Here comes that knot right now, right on through all the guides, and then I'm gonna help it through that looper eye, and we are threaded. So just remember, you can give yourself that little kind of snip, three to four inches, and let it dangle. And then we're gonna go ahead and start to chain stitch, just like if we're using regular thread. If you really want it all to kind of coordinate, match your needle thread with your decorative thread. And then I have a little longer piece of fabric, so I'm gonna kind of do some kind of curving as I stitch, just to show that you can do this type of uh, activity with a cover stitch machine. And let's go ahead and lengthen that stitch length. I guess it was already at three. Maybe we'll go all the way to the longest and then we'll try a little shorter too. So we'll have kind of a nice little variety of looks. And then the nice thing too, is if you do wanna just lift up your presser foot with um, my needle stop down, so um, turn it if it didn't, just go ahead and um, turn it around. Okay, so let's see what we're getting here. How fun. 
one is this. So I can tell that things are a little on the looser side and it could be kind of tightened up a little bit. So I probably made that tension a little looser than I would have needed. I'm gonna go ahead and put my stitch line. I did like that kind of length of three stitch length. And we'll also take a peek here and see how things are looking. Oh yeah, much better. But I could also tighten up that needle thread and just see what kind of look I am getting. So remember, you can kind of do that same little concept where you bring your uh, needle up, lift up your presser foot, swish your scissors underneath the foot, and then clip that single thread. That will lock that chain stitch in so it doesn't come undone. But I can definitely see I can have some fun results and something decorative through the middle of my fabric. Can you see yourself doing almost, you could even make your own fabric. Now, if you're looking right here, my thread kind of got caught on my spool, so it got a little tighter than it should have. So that's something just to take a look at make sure nothing is going to restrict the thread from coming off the spool. And a spool cap would have also assisted with it not getting caught on there. But I will have you, I, I recommend that you try out some different decorative threads. Remember you're sewing from the opposite side, so the fun part shows at the end.